Um, <clears throat> economics is a kind of um, aspect of knowledge, you know, that is expected to solve human problem, especially in terms of uh, resources that is available to us, which is term scarcity. So we believe that every human being will always, you know, need one or two things to satisfy. But economically, we believe that there is scarcity of uh, resources. By that scarcity, we mean that there are more demand than supply. So we have various um, economists who have actually, you know, said different things regarding you know, economics in terms of divination. We talk about Adam Smith. We talk about uh, Alfred Masha. We talk about um, David Ricardo. We talk about uh, John um, Peek. But of all these divination, one of the divination is actually termed most acceptable divination of economics. And that is the divination by Professor Lionel Charles Robbins. According to Professor Lionel Charles Robbins, he said economics is a science. I want us to take note of this very well. You know, in some textbook they will say economics is a social science. No. Economics is a science which studies human behaviors as a relationship between ends and scars. So between ends and scars means which have uh, alternative uses. This is the definition according to um, <clears throat> Robinson. If you look at this definition, this definition actually explain how all the units of um, economy is actually operating in terms of the available resources and um, human wants. These units of economics we are talking about, we talk about household, we talk about fame, and we talk about Governments. These three units of economics that we are talking about are always faced with the problem of what we refer to as a scarce means in relationship to what we refer to as ends. So I will now use this opportunity to explain the characteristics of this uh, definition. Now, it said economics is a science. We have to look at that. Why is economics actually a science? Economics is a science because science, ordinarily, if you look at it, it simply means the body of knowledge that traces or that establish the relationship between cause and effect. It has to do with aspects of knowledge, you know, in which you are able to establish facts, especially about theory or about a particular law. So, and if you look at how economics is actually, you know, um, explained, economics actually look into how human actually behaves in terms of how do we use, you know, the resources eh, in relative to what, to, uh, what we actually want to satisfy. So, and looking at it, we said science, which studies human behaviors, human behaviors, studies human behaviors that is in terms of what in terms of the scarce means and what and the, our wants so as a relationship between ends and scarce means ends here simply means unlimited human 
wants. It's unlimited human wants. You know, in economics, we say that human wants are unlimited. Or sometimes we say they are numerous because they are many. When you wake up in the morning, you always have the list of things that you want. But there is always this problem of scarcity that you can never have enough to solve everything you need at a particular period of time. So that is why in economics, ends refers to as unlimited human wants. And according to this definition again, we talk about scarce means. Scarce means. Scarce means in this sense simply means the resources. Resources that are available at a particular period of time. And the resources in economics is said to be what? To be scarce. That the resources, you know, in economics is always termed to be what? Scarce. Now, as a result of the scarcity, a relationship with the unlimited wants, then human being is expected to make a choice. Making a choice from those list of wants that we actually, you know, have, we have listed. So, and to do that, we have to use the resources we have on the one that is mostly or most important to us at that particular period of time. So that is why in this definition also, it said that which have alternative uses. It means that the resources that's available can be used on any of those particular ones. It now depends on what that particular person actually wants or what is most present to that particular person at that point in time. So that is why when we said alternative uses, that is the resources can be used alternatively can be used alternatively that is for example if i have this list of ones let me say i need books i need pen let's say i need food so what it means is that if all this cost me the same amount of money let's say 10 naira And I only have 10 Nera with me. It means that I can either spend that 10 Nera on book or on pen or on food. It now depends on which one of these is actually most important to me at that particular period of time. So that is just the simple characteristics of this definition. And that is why this definition is said to be the most important uh, definition or the most acceptable definition, you know, out of all the definitions of economics that uh, we have, because it's tried to establish, to let us understand what is the problem between the scarce resources and, you know, our unlimited uh, wants. And we said that it's actually tried to explain how us old, old, you know, make decision, how firm also make decision, how government also make decision based on the available resources. So that is according to um, Lionel Charles uh, Robinson. So based on this definition, we can now move to talk about some concepts of economics. These concepts we are talking about will explain more on how people actually make decisions or how do they make use of their resources based. I mean, uh, 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 based on I mean, how do they make use of the resources? Yes, based on um, the unlimited ones looking at the concept of economics some of those things that we have discussed earlier in the definition will also be um, discussed here the first one we have here is wants when we say wants wants simply means unsatisfied unsatisfied human desires unsatisfied human desires sometimes once is also explained as in satiable and at the same time it can also be explained or be described as 